Question number six, Polly McNeill. Thank you. To ask the First Minister what the Scottish Government is doing to help people with arthritis who are struggling to work. First Minister. In December last year, we launched uh, a Fair Scotland for Disabled People uh, plan, which included £3 million of funding for the Active and Independent Living Improvement Programme. Uh, that programme helps to ensure that those who develop health conditions like arthritis while in employment can find the support they need to stay in work. Uh, from April this year, we're using devolved employability powers to provide uh, Scottish employment services specifically for disabled people and people with long-term health conditions to help them find work and stay in work. We've also committed to exploring uh, new ways of integrating health, disability and employment support in Scotland to ensure that people can find their way quickly to the tailored uh, and person-centred support that they need. Pauline McNeill. Thank you. Would the First Minister agree that there is a need to recognise the scale and the impact of musculoskeletal conditions like arthritis in Scotland? It's the biggest cause of disability and pain across the country. According to Arthritis Research UK, it accounts for half of all work-related illness. And in Scotland, 800,000 people live with osteoarthritis, which is the most common form of it. Anyone who has it will tell you it's a very painful condition. There is some evidence to suggest that the use of cannabis for many sufferers can alleviate that pain. And some have called for the use of it under strict medical conditions. For example, countries such as Germany, Canada and 24 states in the US do this already. Earlier this year, the Medicines and Healthcare Products and Regulatory Agency said that cannabinoid is safe and companies can now apply for a licence. I was genuinely pleased to note that the SNP conference overwhelmingly backed it last year. Would the First Minister consider taking steps to license cannabis for medical purposes? Or would the First Minister at least commit to looking at the basis for it? First Minister. Well, um, thank you uh, to Paul McNeill for raising uh, the issue. M more generally, I do agree with her in terms of arthritis and other musculoskeletal conditions, uh, that for many people it will be conditions like that that make it very difficult for, for them to sustain employment, which is why all of the uh, work that I spoke about in my first answer is so important to help people uh, either get or stay in employment. It's also one of the reasons why I think uh, the assault on benefits for disabled uh, people and, and other people uh, are so wrong, because often they penalise people who want to work but find it difficult to do so. And, you know, one of the uh, other... Uh, uh, benefit changes I hope we see reversed in uh, the next couple of years is the cut to employment and support allowance for uh, disabled people. On the issue of cannabis, I uh, have long uh, been of the view uh, that there is a case for medicinal uh, use of cannabis. I am not in favour of the decriminalisation or legalisation of cannabis uh, generally, but uh, carefully used for uh, certain conditions, I think there is a case to be made. Um, there are two um, Issues, albeit they're related issues, there's the use of cannabis itself and obviously uh, the licensing uh, and classification of drugs is a matter reserved uh, to the UK government. There is then also the separate issue, uh, albeit related, which I think is the one Polly McNeill is raising, uh, of uh, drugs that are derived from uh, cannabis. Now, as with all drugs uh, in terms of their approval or not for use in Scotland, that is a, a decision for the Independent Scottish Medicines uh, Consortium. I'm more than happy to ask the Health Secretary to write to the member in more detail about uh, whether there are any drugs currently under consideration um, that would uh, be in that that category or not. So yes, I am sympathetic. I, I don't hold all of the, the levers around this in terms of the classification of drugs, uh, of, uh, uh, drugs but in terms of medicines, uh, we have a recognised process in place in Scotland. Uh, and of course, it is open uh, to any manufacturer of drugs to ask for approval through that process. 